welcome to this edition of Mornings. I'm Rebecca Rosenblatt. And I'm Melissa Cubitt. Today is Tuesday, April 8th, 2014, and it is an E-Day here at North Penn High School. Mr. Brumball continues to test your knowledge of flight in this week's Brumball Challenge. Here's your question. <laughs> Hey, welcome to this week's Brumball Challenge. In continuing with our theme on flight, here's this week's question. What famed airplane company also made furniture? The answer when we get back. North Penn was recently named one of the top high schools in the nation by the Washington Post. This year, we were ranked 23rd in the state of Pennsylvania. The Washington Post takes into account average SAT scores and school culture on top of other factors. Congratulations to North Penn High School students and faculty on this impressive accomplishment. ZV Duel, the night of North Penn Jazz filled the air with smooth sounds at Pendale Middle School last night. North Penn Jazz Bands and Jazz Choirs from the elementary, middle, and high schools performed one last time for friends, fans, and family. Each North Penn jazz group was joined by Mr. Brian Pastor, lead trombone player for the Philly Pops. Mr. Pastor spent time during the week practicing with groups and sharing tips on improvisation and performance. If you missed last night's performance, you can watch it tonight at 7.30 p.m. on North Penn Television or online at youtube.com slash NPTV. The North Penn Student Government Association was recently awarded the National Gold Council of Excellence Award for 2014. This is a huge honor for the organization and means that the North Penn SGA is one of the best student councils in the country. We're really happy to have, be, have been awarded with this award because it's a very prestigious award. Um, we're recognized nationally as one of the best student governments in the country. This is the third year in a row that the SGA has won this award. The cabinet and officers completed an extensive amount of work to earn this award. Congratulations to the SGA for all of their hard work. North Penn Theater recently held a Beauty and the Beast character breakfast. North Penn News reporter Rebecca Rosenblatt has more. Girls in princess dresses and boys eager to meet the Beast went to North Penn Theater's first ever Applebee's Flapjack fundraiser in early April. Characters from the upcoming production of Beauty and the Beast came to sign autographs and take pictures with the kids. They also got their faces painted as clocks like Cogsworth and manes like the Beast. The volunteers from the cast and crew had a great time raising funds for North Penn Theater and serving attendees. And now they're even more excited for the upcoming production. Our costumes are beautiful, our voices are beautiful, and it's Beauty and the Beast. Who doesn't love Beauty and the Beast? Reporting for North Penn News, I'm Rebecca Rosenblatt. Mr. Monero is here with Elizabeth Martin and Caitlin Collins from SAD to talk about an upcoming event. Mr. Monero. Thank you, Becca. I think the pancakes, sausage, and orange juice were delicious on Sunday morning. <laughs> Good morning, North Penn High School. It's another beautiful, sunny spring day like every day we've had. Um, but we're going to make it even better this morning because SAD is here to talk about some very important stuff and stuff that's actually very, very applicable to all students at North Penn High School. It is Distracted Driving Awareness Month, I believe. Is that right? Liz yes. Martin and Caitlin Collins? Yes. Tell us about it. All right. So April 14th, or no, sorry. <laughs> the month of April is Distracted Driving Awareness Month. And sadly, thousands died needlessly each year because people continue to use their cell phones and or are impaired by drugs or alcohol while driving. And PHS is committed to providing all students the best, with the best prevention tools possible to deal with the issues of underage drinking or drug use, risky and impaired driving, and other destructive decisions. And we're encouraging everyone to stop using cell phones while driving, never text while driving, always wear a seatbelt, do not drive if you are impaired by any forms of drugs or alcohol and tell all there is about the dangers of cell phone distracted driving. Yeah, I mean, seriously, like pull over to the side of the road yeah. or wait till you get where you're going to go. It's not that important, right? Exactly. What's, uh, what's North Penn High School doing to help raise awareness this month? In order to recognize our commitment to safe driving and decision making, this month North Penn High School will be posting no texting signs around the school. Along those lines, Mr. Berger's Very classes nice. will also be creating and showing public service announcements on the importance of seatbelt safety, and all health and society classes will participate in the Survival 101 courses. On April 23rd, all seniors will take place in the DUI reenactment, and then on April 24th, we will hold the DUI follow-up presentation and host Grim Reaper Day. I'd like to definitely tell all of you North Penn, please be safe and please be smart when you're on the roads. 
All right, guys, thank you very much. And a special good morning to Dr. Yetter, who was your advisor for the yeah, SAD yeah. group, right? So remember, guys, Distracted Driving Awareness Month. Be safe on the roads. Make good decisions. Back to the desk. Congratulations to Colin Lynch for earning third place at the 2014 Delaware Valley Science Fair. At the fair, he presented a research project from lab work he did last summer. Colin competed in the medicine and health category and was judged by local scientists. Congratulations, Colin. Mr. Wilson wants to make you chuckle in this week's I Know Funny. Good morning. This is the real Mr. Wilson. Time for the joke of the day. This morning's joke comes from Alanis Lopez. Hope you enjoy it. What happens if you eat yeast and shoe polish? Every morning you will rise and shine. I'm Mr. Wilson. That's joke of the day. Junior Harrison Barkley was recently awarded an all-expense-paid summer trip to study in Germany. Harrison was selected as a national winner after scoring in the 95 percentile on the Level 4 2014 National German Exam for high school students. Nearly 21,000 students participated in the program. 41 selected students will travel to Germany and spend time living with a host family this summer. Congratulations to Harrison for his once-in-a-lifetime accomplishment and have a great trip. Mr. Monero is back with Nick Haddad from the Auto Club to talk about the upcoming car show. Mr. Monero? Thanks, Becca. Yep, Nick Haddad showed up today. Must be the uh, auto show coming up soon here at North Penn High School, right, Nick? Absolutely. Tell on, us about it. On May 29th is our annual auto show. Um, basically, what we do is during the lunch periods, we get together and people, uh, you know, everyone gets to come show off the cars that they put their work into or that they, uh, you know, they have mommy and daddy buy for them. Um, Whatever works. Yeah, yeah, you know. Um, so basically the way that works is sign up started yesterday during lunch periods in the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. So you can grab an application down in the main cafeteria or head online to northpennautoclub.org slash auto show. Do you know when the auto show is? Can I put you on the spot? The May, exact May 29th. May 29th. Yeah, during right. lunch periods. That's actually going to come up very quickly. It's about yes. a month and a half away. Um, what kind of car do you have, Nick? Like a 1989 Chevy Corsica or something like that? Two-tone no. blue and rust or something different? I have a, a Miata. Oh, a Miata. Yeah. Did you buy that yourself? I did. Very nice. Yeah. For what year? 99. All right. Outstanding. I think... Uh, I think there's some students that are gonna have great cars. I think sometimes a teacher or two will put a car and you guys Absolutely. have usually some antique cars as well, right? Absolutely, yep. The uh, North Penn Model A Ford Club comes down. Great. And they bring all of their antique cars uh, anywhere from 1909 to 1939, all that right. sort of thing. Model A's, Model T's. Um, in addition to the application, uh, there's a $10 application fee if you do get selected. But other than that, there are no requirements other than having a license. All right, that. fantastic. May 29th, I already heard the weather forecast. It's supposed to be really nice that day. Sunny and about 75 degrees, so it'll be perfect. Come on out. Check out the car show. Check out Mrs. McKee's Prius. Maybe she'll put that in there. Who knows? Um, but it'll be a great day, as always it is at North Penn every year. Back to the desk. Unfortunately, Becca and I will not be continuing our Dude Report segment. I know. Try to hold back your tears. The real dudes take a trip to the park in this week's Dude Report. Hey, Albert. Oh, hey, man. What's up? My, my skin hurts. Why is it so hot? That's the sun. I know, it's new for you. They don't have that inside. Can we just do this to get over with? Yeah, sure. All right. So uh, let's go. Okay. All right, so we're going to do a basic activity called catch. It sounds it's, weird. You just, I throw this and you catch it. I'm a caveman. Okay. I'm fine. Ready? Yeah. All right, go along. Here we go. All right, yeah, keep going. Further, further. All right, ready? Here we go. How did you get over here? Next. Next thing we're gonna do, I want you to ninja climb between these two trees and go to the top. How do you do that? Watch this. Oh, yeah. Come on, Tyler, don't mess it up again. Wow, my Pete again. I have to go film with Albert. All right, so the last thing we're gonna try is skipping rocks, all right? Let's see if you can actually do this. Here we go. How do you skip a, a rock? rock. Right, go ahead. 
Oh, this was the worst day. It's all right, champ. Oh! 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 Come on! Let's check in with Mr. Brumball to find out the answer to this week's Brumball Challenge. Hey, welcome back. The answer you've all been waiting for. Back during its initial years, when business got slow, the Boeing Company, the world's largest producer of aircraft, made furniture on the side. Bet you didn't know that? Now you do. Thanks for playing this week's Brimbaugh Challenge. The winner of this week's Brimbaugh Challenge is nobody. We are going back to Mr. Monero with our special guest from North Wales Elementary School. Yes, you are looking live at the future of North Penn Television. Sixth graders from North Wales Elementary School. Shout out to Mrs. Sue Bush. Good morning, Mrs. Bush. These students right here in four years might very well be sitting at that desk. I know I feel like I'm on Al Albert's showcase here right now, but I'm not. It's North Wales. Guys, let's hear it for North Wales, right? Yes! I knew that was going to happen. All right. North Wales Elementary School special guest this morning in the morning show. They're here with the teacher, Mr. Derek Fickert. North Penn, have a great day and look for these faces on TV in four years. Don't forget to sign up for the 3v3 basketball tournament during all lunch periods, today through Thursday. It costs $5 per player and there can be three to five players per team. That is all for this edition of Mornings. I'm Rebecca Rosenblatt. And I'm Melissa Cubitt. Have a delightful day, North Penn.